we are, because I love my wild pepper. So I actually got this already made because I have to watch it because it takes like a minute and 36 seconds in my microwave and then it starts to burn. But I get my popcorn from the local farmer. So I get blue or I get red popcorn kernels. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is much smaller than the kind you get in the store. And does it really have a different taste? I don't really know, but I love it. So that is what I use. And yeah, your popcorn's still white, but it got a little red chunks in the kernel part. So our viral popcorn is going to be for the 4th of July, since of course we're coming into the 4th of July season. And we have our stack cooker. I hope every kitchen has one of these. I tell people when they ask me what my favorite Tupperware is, it's all my favorite if it's making my life easier, but I have several people pieces that impact my life. And this definitely is one because I watched a glass bowl shatter in my one aunt's face. And guess what? This stack cooker ain't gonna shatter glass everywhere in somebody's face and cause scars. So every kitchen needs one of these. It's great for butter, marshmallows, because it's high fatty, high sugary foods. So we are going to make our marshmallow cream stuff in there. So it's just butter and marshmallows. I keep my marshmallows in my containers. These are my ones for camping. So we're going to finish using those. Now, technically, I like trying to make my own stuff right now. And I tried to make marshmallows. And it was com a complete failure of a mess. So if anybody has any recipes on how to make that easier, please share your secret. Because... I'm telling you what, I had a mess. So I have to run to my microwave real quick and we're gonna heat this up and I'll be right back. So how many of you have tried like the different blue or red popcorn? Um, isn't it so much fun? So I technically do not mix anything in my silicone. I like to put it in a bowl because I feel like I'm eating popcorn from the movies if I put it in a bowl or, so we're going to mix our um, popcorn in our stack cooker to make our, and then we're gonna add sprinkles. Now, some of the viral on the TikTok says you can add cake mixes, you can add, I'm thinking that's a little too sweet for me. So we're just going to mix the marshmallows and the um, butter. And then we'll add a little bit of vanilla, mix it all together, add our sprinkles. Now, if you get online on sprinkles.com, they have all kinds of sprinkles. And I wish I could have ordered the ones with the little sunglasses to add to our, um, to make it fun for summer. But if I would have ordered them today, I wouldn't have had them this evening. So definitely, if you are doing stuff fun for summer, get on there, check out the different sprinkles. Then I am actually going to put my Rice Krispies or my popcorn treats in here. And I do not cut with my knives in my Tupperware. Everybody in there house needs a um, spreader because he's going to cut through it. Oh, Becky, I don't know if you should have shared the secret of sprinkles.com because Pam has a problem with sprinkles. She cannot walk away from special sprinkles in the store. <laughs> I, I love them too. And I have a rectangle four with all kinds of different sprinkles in them because it's just, I got to heat this up for 30 more seconds. It's just a little too sticky. If you got a small kitchen, you just have to go with where your microwave goes. I kind of sometimes want to wish put it on this wall right here, but I don't know how that would work either. So <laughs> you just go with the flow on stuff. So this here 
every kitchen needs one of these. And one of my favorite things now to do is they only cost, and you get two of them for $11. So it's our discount. If I do a host party, or if I do an in-home party, every host gets one of these. And most likely they're going to buy them and share them with their friends, or they need more in their kitchen. That's a great tip. It's good to always look for different things that we can, um, you know, give to our hosts as gifts or bribes or whatever. So that's a great tip, Becky. So we have that melted. I made a little extra popcorn just because, of course, you need some to eat because... So my marshmallow part was for six cups of um, Rice Krispies. So I don't know how much that would. So we're just eyeing this all up because it's fun. But definitely take a recipe and try to make it Tupperware because they said in the... Um, viral to use popcorn from a bag well of course i'm not going to use that because that's got too much preservatives and everything else in it that we do not need to eat when we can make first popcorn as simple as we can with our wild popcorn thing now also what i do and it just started this week because I wanted to see how it worked because I, I'm trying to pull in a couple extra sales. Anything that I, like my stack cooker or my wild popcorn, I would offer 10% off of it today because I showed it. So they would have 24 hours from the time my live video would end. So if they would decide. And actually I did sell one thing, but they can't pay for it until Friday. So that would be up to you if you decided if you're really like, oh, it's got to be in within 24 hours or if you'll wait till when they get paid. I'm waiting till they get paid because I figured it's still a sale. And so I got that all mixed up. So let's mix these. I did wash my hands before this, so. Now, I actually have a, um office party to go to tomorrow. I have a lady that's trying to have a catalog party, and she's not getting any orders. So she asked me if I would come to her office and do a party. So I'm going to take this with a popcorn popper and show it, and we're going to do the cold brew. So you definitely can take stuff that you make and share it different and I love the stack cooker because it is so easy to wash out and one of my favorite things to cook in the stack cooker especially for the summertime is a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese it is so simple to make that in there and you don't have to boil because at 90 degree weather, even though I have my air conditioning on, I don't like to be boiling stuff on the stove. And if you really wanted to make this fancy, you could have took food coloring, blue, red, mix it in there. Or if you're using it for another thing, you could use in your marshmallow cream. And then you could have added more color to it. So here's our popcorn marshmallow treats. So it'll take a few minutes for it to set up to, so I can cut them. But I will take a picture of it after it sets up. But definitely, since it's in my Tupperware, I'm going to use my spreader. So thank you, guys. If there's any questions, let me know. Awesome. I love that. So full of tips and ideas and all that kind of good stuff. So um, thank you so much for uh, showing us just how easy it is to be able to go live, do a quick recipe um, and something that's trending, right? That's always a good thing. 
Um, and, uh, and yeah, and I loved your idea about offering them some sort of an incentive to purchase within the next 24 hours. It's always up to you and your discretion when somebody contacts you and you're like, well, I really want to get that, but I can't do it till Friday. I always do the same thing you do, Becky. Um, I just don't put it out there because you want that sense of urgency, right? Because I don't know about you guys, but if somebody tells me to take my time, I'm taking my time <laughs> and then I forget about it. <laughs> So I'm sure there's lots of people like that too. All right. So um, we are going to go to Pam. Are you ready, Pam? For some, no, she's not. <laughs> well, do you want, I can go next if you're not ready. She's okay. Uh, you want me to go next? Okay. <laughs> awesome. So I wanted to share with you and talk to you a little bit about social selling, right? Over the summer, Jenny's going to talk about some in-person stuff and give you some tips and ideas um, about conversations and all that jazz. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, virtual stuff and things you can do on social media as far as your social selling goes for the summer. <clears throat> um, before I launch into it, um, it's funny, I was in the car with James the other day and we had a little bit, we had about an hour in the car go, going to where we were headed. And um, and I was I was listening to actually a podcast about social selling, right? Because I was just like, oh, let me listen to this and just see if anything pops in my head for this training tonight. And I noticed he was listening. And I was like, okay, James doesn't need to know about social selling. So I was like, let me, if he's listening, right? I was like, I'm going to put on something for him to listen to. So I put in Atomic Habits. And if you haven't read that book, you definitely need to read it. And you're like, uh, we're talking about social selling. Why are you talking about the book Atomic Habits? Because the bottom line is is when you create these small habits that you do consistently, right? And that's exactly what posting on Facebook for your business is. It's a small habit that when you um, do it consistently, it compounds, right? It compounds. And then you end up getting to a place that you didn't think was possible. Um, but it's when you do it consistently. So when you create a good new habit, as small as it is, it can take you um, to great things, right? So it, it starts small um, for you to be able to do things in, in your business. And so especially when it comes to social media, you have to be consistent with these things. So first, before I go into um, what I'm going to challenge you with, all right, a little challenge from me, just a little one. Gina, I see your face. She kind of looked like, oh, challenge. Okay. <laughs> all right. It'll be easy. I'm sure you're already doing it, Gina. All right, so the first thing that you want to think about when it comes to um, posting on social media is define your objective. What is it that you're looking to do? What are you looking to accomplish? Are you looking to start conversations? Are you looking to um, just get more customers, get more followers on your um, your page, your, your group, any of that stuff, right? And so you want to make sure that you um, clearly distinguish between your personal and business goals on social media. And um, and you want to maintain professionalism, right? You want to maintain professionalism, and um, and it's really important for you to um, to just kind of think about what it is that you're wanting to attract into your life. What type of customers are you wanting to bring into your business, right? And um, so we're approaching political season, right? So there's going to be a lot of hot button things that maybe you feel you want to talk about, right? On social media. I would recommend if you're somebody who really loves <clears throat> to talk about those sort of things and really wants to be heard talking about those sort of things, um, I'm going to make a little suggestion and it's what the kids do. Okay. <laughs> you don't have a teenager. This is something that they do is they have like their Instagram or whatever. They have their Instagram and then they have what they call a spam account, right? <laughs> so their spam account, <laughs> a lot of times it's things they don't want mom and dad to see. <laughs> But they post things that are just like front of mind. It's the, it's very like stream of conscious. They post whatever's on their mind. But on their regular feed, they have more of a curated look because they know colleges are looking, coaches are looking, future employees are, lo employers are looking. Um, if you have noise in the background, go ahead and mute yourself. Um, but future employers are looking, so they're, they're very savvy to that. And so they have special things. So, and I know lots of people the in that, that promote their businesses on, on social media. Right. And they have another account for friends and family where they can talk about personal things like that. But if you're wanting to grow a business on social media, you need to just kind of make sure you know where that line is for you. And if you're like, I don't care, I am who I am, this is my authentic self, that's fine. 
but you may alienate some some people that could be really great people in your business, right? And um, so just be mindful of that when you're posting. And it's not just political stuff, right? It can just be hot button issues and things going on in the world. Um, not saying that you can't have an opinion about it, all right? I'm not saying that at all, right? So there, you just need to decide what it is that you're wanting to attract in your business. Because I find when I post about hot button issues, I'm attracting people that are a little bit more aggressive, right? <laughs> and that's not what I want my business. I want my business to be chill, okay? <laughs> I don't want aggressive people. I don't want to, I want to be chill. I want to have fun, right? So you want to think about it from that perspective. And then next you want to be authentic and transparent, right? You definitely want to be yourself. That's why it's so important to not copy and paste somebody else's stuff, right? And I'm not saying you cannot like look at their idea and be like, oh my God, I love everything they said in this post. Let me put it into my own language, right? Um, I have, I, I, there's a girl on my team and, um, she has, she's from the South, right. And she texts the way she talks and went, and I love it because it's so authentic. And so when I read her text, I hear it in her voice. And that's when, you know, you're being authentic. When somebody says, oh my God, I totally just read what you wrote in your voice. Like then you are on the money, right? Because that's literally what would come out of your mouth. A way to really kind of be the most authentic that you can be is honestly using voice to text <laughs> because it is, that's the way you talk, right? And so that's where you're going to train yourself to be the most authentic that you can be in all of your posting and your conversations on social media, texting, all that good stuff. Um, but you want to be you want to be honest and upfront. You don't want to be that sort of shady person that's like, oh, I have this business, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. Um, and I'm going to, you know, get you into this conversation before I reveal to you that I sell Tupperware. That's that that sort of online marketing. It's it doesn't work anymore because of it's been so long that people have been doing things like that, that people are are kind of wary of people that are are kind of promoting themselves like that. And I think almost everybody on here that I, that I'm friends with on Facebook, I know that you sell Tupperware because it says it somewhere, right? It says it somewhere. It's on your shirt. It's in your bio. It's somewhere, right? And so that's a good thing, right? Because you're going to go ahead and weed people out and qualify people because they already know what you're selling. They're not going to be talking to you if they're not interested, okay? So that it just does you a favor. So you want to engage with your audience. You want to make sure you're responding. And we're going to talk a little bit about more of that in the challenge. Um, you want to balance your personal and business content, you know, go with sort of an 80-20 sort of rule. Um, you want to maintain consistency. That is key. Create a good habit of taking the first 20 minutes of your day, or maybe you know what your day looks like, right? And you're like, okay, well, like for me right now, right? Um, I take James to swim at some point because he swims a couple times a day. And so when I'm sitting there, that's a perfect time for me to go ahead and take 10 minutes and just do my posting or do my likes and do my commenting and doing things like that. Um, you want to uh, keep it up in your comments, right? Because sometimes people can go really like left field in your comments. So you want to keep an eye on that because you're like, whoa, what is happening? There's an argument going on here. That has nothing to do with what I just posted about, right? Um and uh, you want to uh, respect people's privacy, right? You want to respect people's privacy by maybe not blasting them on Facebook about something, right? Or or maybe, um, you know, not sharing something that isn't your story to share. Um, and you want to stay, um, you want to stay updated with things that are going on on Facebook, you know, you, and you go on and they made an update or maybe your phone didn't update and somehow it updated the app and stuff. It's good to kind of keep on top of that. Now, if you're posting consistently, you're going to see it right away and you can always Google it be like, Hey, Google Facebook changes today. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of conversations about it. Facebook made some changes. Okay. So what I wanted to talk to you about was, um, you know, what you're looking for is you're looking for um, visibility plus value plus conversations. And those three things over time is going to lead to a consistent paycheck. And that's what we're all here for, right? We're here to kind of be able to consistently find customers, be able to consistently be adding people to our VIP groups. I can't tell you how many people I work with that says, um, that say, uh, there's nobody buying in my VIP group. There's nothing going on in my VIP group. I said, when's the last time you added people to your VIP group? And they're like, oh, well, I, 
Okay, that's the problem. We got to be in front of new eyeballs, right? We got to be in front of new new people. And so, and also some of your friends, right? That you have, you have 2000 friends on Facebook, right? A lot of them aren't seeing your feed. So you need to get back in front of them. So here's sort of my challenge, okay? So here's my challenge to you um, is to get consistent with it, right? Get consistent with it and make that commitment to yourself. And first things first, take a look at your own personal feed. What does it look like? You know, what does it look like? Is it just shared reels? Is it just you sharing other people's content? Is it um, a bunch of shared news articles? I see that sometimes. Um, is it a bunch of Tupperware flyers? Is it a bunch of you kind of complaining about stuff going on in the world that's out of your control? Um, or is it positivity, right? Is it positivity? Is it um, is it uh, real life stuff? Are you, do you have engaging posts on there? Do you have interaction on your posts? Look at to see, like, do you get comments? Do you get likes? It's harder to get the comments and the likes now, you know, because people are just like scrolling. It takes a lot to get, trigger them to go ahead and take that next step, which sounds ridiculous because it's so <laughs> simple, but it is the truth. Think, notice how you scroll, right? How, what does, notice what stops you. That's the other thing too, is when you are scrolling, notice what stops you, what stops your scroll, what, what gets you to comment, what gets you, you know, for me, it's like a personal experience. If I have a personal experience, whatever they're talking about, I might want to comment. Right. <laughs> you know, I might want to comment on that. And so that's something that stops my scroll. So pay attention to that because whatever it is that stops your scroll, you want to be posting more of that kind of stuff because then you're going to be attracting people that are like you, right? That are like minded. And that's what you want. You want people that are like minded. All right. Um, and so you want to, um, and another thing, and I, uh, I, uh, I heard a friend said this to me. And she's like, well, you know, when you're posting on social media and you're wanting to post for your business, you need to ask yourself, am I posting for myself or am I posting for my others? And I was like, huh? And then she elaborated and she said, um, she said, so I stubbed my toe, right? You stub your toe and your toes all black and blue and you post a picture of your stubbed toe and you're like, oh my gosh, I stubbed my toe. I can't believe I did this. How awful right? That's me posting for myself. I want people to go, oh my gosh, that looks awful. Ellen, are you okay? Did you go to the doctor? Is it broken? Did you get an x-ray? That's me wanting attention. That's me wanting people to like, be like, are you okay? And like, love on me in the comments, right? Now I can take that same post and I can reframe it. And I probably wouldn't post a picture of my toe because I don't want to see a picture of toes. <laughs> but that again is my personal preference. Okay. So but I would say something like maybe I'd post pictures of somebody on crutches and be like, so <laughs> when was the last time you <laughs> did something that landed you in the doctor's office with an injury, right? And that's my way of trying to relate to people saying like, hey, I just landed in the doctor's office with an injury, but I'm getting them to tell me their stories, right? I'm getting them to tell me their stories, you know? And so a couple of days ago I posted, I'd just gotten back um, from a trip and my jewelry was a hot mess. It was so tangled up. I know some of you saw my post, right? And some of you commented, thank you for the recommendations. I'm definitely gonna have to do something before Jubilee because I'm not doing that again. And I got so many comments of people wanting to share with me their personal experiences with tangled jewelry, right? You know, and so, so that was a, a great way to do that. Um, I have popcorn here and a popcorn thief just came into my room. <laughs> He's getting ready to run away with it. All right. So, um, so you want to be able to do that and you want to, um, at the beginning of the day, um, sorry, hold on. Uh, okay. Yes. So at the beginning of the day, what I challenge you to do one first audit your Facebook, see what it looks like. What do you need to do more of? Right. Do you need to, what do you need to do less of? Right. Maybe you just need to do more posting. Maybe you just realize you're just kind of in a dry spot and you haven't been posting. All right. Let's fix that. All right. So the first thing you want to do is post some sort of an interactive post at the beginning of every day. Right. Whatever that is, it could be a this or that. It could be, you know, just whatever it is, you know, tell me what's your favorite topping on on, on your, your coffee in your coffee or whatever, you know, what you can ask those sort of questions just to kind of get people talking. And then after that, you want to kind of warm up your algorithm, right? This is the whole purpose of doing this. The next like five or so days is you want to warm up your alg algorithm by starting conversations 
right? So, so take, put a timer, 10, 20 minutes and just scroll for 10 or 20 minutes. I want you to comment on people that do not sell Tupperware. Okay. <laughs> comment on people that do not sell Tupperware, right? And find things to say. And it's even better if you can ask a question in, in the, the, you know, in the comments, because that will definitely get that interaction going. And then that person's going to see more of you on Facebook. All right. So that's really key. And that's why I'm saying don't comment on Tupperware's people because, you know, you don't, that's great. I mean, yeah, that you want your Tupperware friends to be able to see you on Facebook. That's great, but they're not going to buy from you. So if your purpose is to get new customers, you definitely want to be talking to the people that don't sell Tupperware. Right. And then, um, and then when people comment on you and then go back before you finish this little sesh, go back and your interactive post. If people are commenting on your interactive post, comment back talk to them right and again if you can and talk to them like you would talk to them in real life right and and just be like gosh yeah i don't know if i don't know if that straw trick would work for me that's i got a lot of straw tricks for the jewelry i'm like i don't know if that straw trick would work for me maybe you know that's a great idea or yeah i've looked into these bags before somebody gave me a press and seal idea wow i don't even own press i don't know if i've ever bought press and seal before <laughs> but i might buy from a jewelry okay you know and so so get talking in those comments and that will help. And when you do these simple things every single day, your, your, yeah. your feed is going to change. There's no two ways about it. These people you've been interacting with are going to start yeah. seeing yourself. You're going to start seeing more of them. And it's so important to just kind of get those conversations going because that is truly um, what it's all about. So you want to create these good habits. So figure out what do those good habits look like for you? Is it for, you know, the, as soon as you sit down to do your work or maybe before you do your morning meditation, you set a timer for 10 minutes so that you can send birthday wishes to people on Facebook, um, that you can find 20 to 30 um, friends that are not in Tupperware and engage on some of their recent posts, right? Um, and be conversational, right? And then to post your engaging posts, like right there is, is like four simple things that you could do within 10 minutes, Okay. And I can all think of things that we do in the morning that may take us 10 or so minutes that we might be able to be scrolling on a phone. Maybe it's eating breakfast and you're just kind of sitting there, you know, <laughs> like scrolling while you're drinking your coffee, whatever it is, right? Um, and that's a great time to be able to do that. Some people, they scroll on their phone while they're laying in bed and that's the way they wake up. That's what kind of opens their eyes a little bit and gets them going. So these, that's what I challenge you to do over the next five days and see what happens. You know, take note right now when you do that audit and be like, okay, so on any average post, I get this many comments, right? Or, you know, when I ask questions, I usually get about five comments. But when I post pictures of my family, I get about 10, you know, and just kind of make a little note. It doesn't have, don't you have to go into big details and spreadsheets. Don't make it, it's not that deep, okay? <laughs> just take note. And then in a week after you've been doing this every day, take 10 minutes a day and do this, take note again and see the difference in the comments and the conversations and all of that. So, because posting and praying no <laughs> that is done it doesn't work right you got to have the conversations because business is conversation there's no two ways about it so um so i hope that helps with some of your getting your your summer selling going right um so uh if pam is ready am i getting a nod yes there's a smile <laughs> If you're not ready, it's going to go to Jenny next. So we can always go to Jenny. And then since you two are across from each other, you can give each other the go ahead. But one of you needs to unmute. I am unmuted. <laughs> I, I just unmuted. <laughs> Here we go again, guys. The echo's back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we good? Okay. Great. Finally. Hi, guys. Oh, wait. Is your volume up? We can hear you, Jenny. All right. We're just trying to decide who can hear who and who's talking about what. And yeah, so we're back. <laughs> we're back to trying to figure out the technical stuff. Okay. So everything Ellen just talked about is so very true. But what are we going to do when these are real life people standing in front of us? instead of people that we can't see on a computer screen or 
Snapchat or Instagram or wherever it is they are. Now, the great thing about this is if you start doing the things that Ellen just charged, uh, challenged you to do, it's excellent practice for when you actually are talking to people in person. Because if you can start a conversation with somebody online or ask a question, something like that, then you're practicing how to talk to people when they are actually in front of you, all right? So tell me in the chat if you love starting conversations with strangers, um, if you will, but it kind of depends on your mood and the person, or if there is absolutely no way you are talking to someone out in public that you don't know. Hey, Jenny, can I say something really quick, tying these two things together, because I just thought about it and just made me laugh because this is so me, and I'm sure it's lots of you too. So she's saying, you know, these conversations that you're having online, that it's good practice for having them in person. Um like raise your hand if you've ever been in person and you see somebody that you talk with semi-regularly online and you're like don't be weird don't be weird go up and say hi go up and say hi go up and say hi. don't be weird ellen go say hi right it's important to treat them the same way that you do online in person so go ahead jenny <laughs> yeah that's funny um actually it wasn't too long ago when i met i met my cousins for lunch here and um my one cousin, he's on Facebook and he always gives me just fun family crap about Tupperware. I mean, he's always like, oh, you're Tupperware, Tupperware. And he said, so I've been seeing you on Facebook all the time. And I was like, yeah, and I just have you to comment and like it because I haven't noticed that. And he goes, well, yeah, but it's not about Tupperware. And and I don't know what to say. And I was like, how about hi? <laughs> he goes, but it like he... He watches. So you really don't know who's seeing your things and who's watching them. And the, the, you know, the great thing about Facebook and social media is to get them to comment. The other great thing about social media is if you comment something or if you type something out and you suddenly realize that's not what you want to say, you can delete it. You can even post it and then go back and delete it. If you do a post and you decide two days later that you don't want that post up, you can go back and get rid of it. And that is probably the big difference between social media and live people. Because once you've said it, you've said it. And if you're like me, there are times when things come out of your mouth. And as soon as they leave your mouth, you're like, oh, I'll bet that didn't land the way I meant it to. Maybe I can fix it, <laughs> or maybe I should just apologize and go on. So, but there are so many things that you can do when talking to people that you don't know. Because let's face it, guys, whether you are partying online or whether you are partying in homes or doing events, once you have used your friends and your family to party and some of that, you've got to find new people. You have got to get out of that circle and go find other people that you need to meet, okay? So you've got to overcome that inner, I'm not sure I want to talk to people because you don't know who you're going to meet, all right? You might meet your next best friend. You might meet your next thousand dollar host. You might meet the next person that comes into your business and they want to do a lot. And so they help you do more because that's how this business works. So you need to just kind of take a deep breath and it's practicing. And I'm going to tell you, you need to practice maybe a little bit before you try this out, but tr practice with people that you know, love you. Okay. It's just like whenever you first start doing parties and you do them for your family, because you know, they're going to be supportive or you do them in front of your kids dolls because you know they're not going to give you a hard time so you can get your words out there and get your word choices where you want them so some of the things that are just really good suggestions if you're going to talk to people whether now the grocery store is easy I think the grocery store is easy because there are so many things that we have you know talking to somebody in the produce section is just a no-brainer all you have to do is say price of strawberries has gone up. I'm so glad mine don't go bad anymore. You know, and, and they will talk to you about that kind of thing because the price of groceries is rough for a lot of people. But there are other places you're going to be where the conversation might not seem as 
easy and normal as a grocery store, okay? You're going to be in doctor's offices. You're going to be at parks, at ball games, um, going to be just at a gas station. I mean, you know, there are all kinds of places that you can run into people. Just if, if you walk, there's other people that walk. If you walk every day at the same time, you're running into the same people every time that in the mornings or in the evenings because people are habitual. They, they do things by habit. And so what you want to do when you start seeing these people or if you see someone that you think, I would like to talk to them, first off, do not be afraid. And it's very important to make eye contact and smile, okay? If you smile and they smile back, you're in good shape because they are probably going to be willing to return. If you, you know, once you smile at them and you've made eye contact, if they smile back, it's okay to say, hey, how are you? And they will probably answer you, okay? Now, once that kind of starts, you're like, well, where do you go from there? There's simple things you can do, and these are these are things you can practice um, once, you, once you have started. So begin with a statement of something that you have in common, all right? Because you're looking at that person, and all you have to do is say something like, I really love the color of your shirt or blue is my favorite color. Be sincere. Don't say something, you know, that you don't mean at all. Um, or maybe, you know, you're walking. If, if you're in a park, you can say, I love coming to this park. Have you been coming here very long? Um, are there other parks in the area that you like to go to? All right, you can start a conversation. If you're waiting in line, inside any kind of restaurant, fast food restaurant, regular restaurant, if you're waiting to be seated, you can talk to the people next to you about, uh, you know, the food here is usually so good, but are there other places around here that you recommend? And just start that kind of conversation. It's not, you know, confrontation. You don't want to ask a personal question because at this point, that's not okay. And so you just want to start with something like that and make your questions open-ended, which means don't ask questions or don't make statements that are just going to require a yes or no answer, because that's not going to start a conversation. That's just going to be like, yes or no. So that's not what you want to do, but you do want to keep it general and you just want to make it friendly and you know, personable, be yourself. It's so important to be yourself and not try and be somebody else. And if you're a little shy, that's okay. Just start with something super simple. Like, you know, if, if you see Ellen walking in the park, you can say, you must really be liking that popcorn. Where'd you get it? Yeah. <laughs> or anything like that, you know, or if they have kids with them, say, I love bringing my kids to the park. Um, is there some place you take your kids after the park that they really like? Because I'm looking for something to do when we leave here. Once that conversation starts, you can go to things like getting ready to go home to make dinner or going to go take the kids and make some lunch. You know, a lot of people are meal prepping these days. Do you do that? And they will tell you, you know, yes or no. And you can say, I just need some new ideas for meal prep. I've got great stuff to meal prep in, but I'm I'm looking for new things that I can do. And Ellen has a recipe that I love and I don't make it, but I love it. And it's egg roll in a bowl. And I will tell people all the time, this egg roll in a bowl, it is fantastic and you can make it and you can save it. And it's great. Have you ever made that? So just... Talking about Tupperware is super easy if you're not focused on talking about Tupperware. If you are focused on what you have that can help these people, you know, if you see a mom with a couple of kids and she's struggling trying to get those fruit snack packs open and all that stuff, you can, it, it's super, super simple to say Aren't those, aren't those little bags annoying? I, my, me personally, when it says easy open, I know I'm going to have a problem. It, anything that says easy open, I just need to go get a knife or a pair of scissors right then. But, you know, we have these little containers that are so easy. Now it's very helpful if you have one with you, 
pull a little ideal bowl out of your purse or out of your little, you know, lunch bag thing and say, these make that so much easier. Just show people what you have or tell them what we have that is going to help make their lives simpler, make meal planning simpler, make grocery shopping simpler and cheaper, um, make serving simpler. If they, if they eat outside during the summer with their kids, paper plates fly away, all right? Paper plates get wet and the food drops through the middle. I had five kids and I know they can take a paper plate and be three inches away from the table they're headed for and lose the whole thing, okay? It, it flops, it does whatever. And, but look at our impression set, okay? Our impression set has luncheon plates, we have bowls, we have everything and they don't have to keep buying them. Once they have them, they have them. And they're easy. It, if they drop them, they aren't going to break. I love it. <laughs> I like Pam's glasses. I'm just saying. And that is that is a great conversation starter when you see somebody go, oh, I love those glasses. Where did you get them? <laughs> Should be happy to tell you. <laughs> All right. So these are just the kind of things that you can start conversations with. But the main thing is, just take a deep breath and go ahead and start the conversation. Because here's the thing, people want to talk, okay? And for a long time, there was this like, well, I don't wanna be creepy. I don't wanna, you know, I want somebody to think I'm stalking them. Hello is not stalking somebody, you know? Um, I like your shirt is not creepy. You know, those, it, you, there, you can go creepy, but you don't wanna do that. You just wanna stay friendly. Don't say anything to them you would want them to say to you. But, you know, and very, very important, okay, if they have the most adorable three-year-old in the world, compliment the parent. Do not start off by talking to that child first, because as a mother, I want you to acknowledge the fact that you know I am there, that that child is with me, and I'm keeping an eye on them, okay? So just say to the mother or the dad or the grandma, grandparents are great. You tell a grandparent that that kid is gorgeous and you will have a conversation for the next 20 minutes because they're gonna tell you everything about them that is wonderful, okay? From the day they were born until two seconds ago when you said they were cute. So <laughs> go with that. But um, yeah, if you have any other questions or if you have any suggestions on other ways to start conversations with people, please put them in the chat or put them in the ahas tonight on Champion. And I think... Our, our sunglass uh, business leader might be ready at this point. You ready to go? Hey. Did you bring your sunglasses? <laughs> I hope you did because our future is so bright and everything going on in Tupperware right now, I promise you, is going to show in the future to be the benefit for you. Our factory, we're relocating our distribution center, uh, closing the factory. 60% or more of all products now are not made in the United States. They're made in other parts of the country, other parts of the world. Um, and so it's a small percentage of things that we're actually letting go of, but a big gain in moving our facility to a more um, a more loca centrally located uh, place in the, in the United States. And it will be making it much better for us to have the it's not just about the location, even though that's important. It's mostly about guys. Um, the factory was built to handle 200 SQs. SQ, what do they call those things? SQ, SQs, few numbers, okay? And we're over 2,000 now. That, do the math, all right? It's not working, all right? And so huge difference. We have to have a new location that can handle all the products that we're running now. Our new CEO, one of the things that I love about her is she says, why are you putting product away in storage when you could be selling it? We're like, no kidding. Hello. Okay. Just because the month is over, we don't necessarily have to stop the sale if we have more of that product left. And so you can be watching that if it is something that's not necessarily in our line, um, it may continue. Uh, until we're out of that product. Now, the other thing is, is if it's something like the Fridge Smarts, 
you're not going to get your BOGO next month. Okay. It's this month and gone. All right. The BOGO will be done because it's something in our, our catalog line. And so the sell price will go away at the end of the month. So think about the fact of what <laughs> this is going to open up for all of us, the value that we will have when we have a facility that can really handle what we want to do in our future with lots more product options, a lot of opportunity for all of us to grow our business and make more money. I mean, there are some things that we can start selling in our future that you're going to buy anyways. Why not buy it from you, right? <laughs> All right. And so I know I'm talking big because I know big, but you need to kind of just trust me on this one that we have a bright future and it's really exciting. All right. And so look for the opportunity for you to grow your business right now. I love some of the things that uh, both Ellen and uh, Jenny shared with us tonight. And thank you so much for that great demo on the popcorn. That was so good. You're just, huh, I can't say enough good things about you and always willing to help us out. And please, if you're here listening tonight and you want to do a demo, we want you to do a demo. We want to have a lot of different champions doing demos. And so please know that it would be great to have you on too. Um, and we are going to be open to having you join us and do a demo as well. And so big kudos to all of our trainers this evening. Uh, Rebecca, thank you for the demo. Ellen, thank you for the great training. And uh, both um, Jenny, thank you so much. All right. And so I'm going to show my screens because I want to share with you my tip for the night. And that is um, the super crisp. Okay. Who doesn't love the super crisp? But I will tell you, everybody, if you're working any vendor booths at all, you're going to have people ask you about the super crisp. And if they don't ask you for buying the super crisp, they're going to say, I need that insert that goes in super crisp. It. You're like, no dodge. So no, then so doesn't 35, 5,000 other people in the world, right? And so I want you to do me a favor. I want you to Google the super Tupperware super crisp. It, okay. That's what the name of this product is. I want you to Google Tupperware super crisp. It, find your favorite picture. And I Googled all four of these and pulled them out. All right. I don't want you to put a price tag on it. I don't want you to do anything. I want you to pop it out there, pop it out there on your page. And you can put it on your VIP page or you can put it on your regular feed. And I want you to say, so many people ask me for this insert. Or I cannot, I can I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked for just the insert to this product. Uh the uh the little insert thingy right there. <laughs> okay. All right. Anybody that works shows, tell me in the comments how many times you hear that. Can I get the insert? Can I just get the insert to this? Can I, can I, can I? Well, guess what? <laughs> you can replace the whole thing right now for only $16, but you don't say that. You don't say that in the comments at all. You are going to send them a private message and say, hey, guess what? I've got a great deal for you. The insert itself would be $10. And by the time you pay the shipping and everything, you're well over what this is on sale for right now. And of course, if they live local, you can have it shipped with your order. But if not, just ship it to them and give them the price. I will tell you, it's actually on sale right now on a Home Shopping Network, I believe it is, for $29, all right? And ours is, how much is it, 16? 16, and even if you pay, the and they have $6 shipping, $5.99 shipping. And so it's $35 their price. And ours would be, if you paid the $9.99 shipping, it would be like $25. So yay, our, our CEO is doing exactly what she told us she would do and making sure that we have the better price and we have the product. So um, she's working hard on making this happen for us. And I can see uh, some, some results coming. When she told us that in February, she told us then it would take some time, but this is where she wants to go. And so get excited, guys, put on your sunglasses. Our future is so bright. You need to wear shades. All right. And so I have to tell you, I do love my shades. They're new. I just got them. They were a present on Father's Day for me. Yay. <laughs> He's so funny. He's a great guy. All right. And so let me go to the next screen because we want to do our recognition real quick. And then I have some really good news. So don't leave me. I have some great news for you. All right. And so here we go. Personal sales. Congratulations. Number 10, 
Christine Simone, congratulations, you're on. I saw you. Paula Berry, number nine. Tammy McCarball. Uh, uh, okay, sorry to say Tammy McClung. All right, Tammy Car uh, Carmel. All right, $666.70. That's an important 70 cent. All right, and Rena Bickley, 680. And Nancy Leg at 837. Nance, great job. Marianne Miller, great job. Over a thousand. Loretta, over 1300. Pam Green, 1800. Mike Green, uh, 2,146. What a great guy. Um, support his spouse and takes catalogs to work for all the time, work in that business. And Bonnie Alexander, $3,209.30, number one it champion in personal sales last week. All right. And unit sellers, congratulations. Carrie Rebicki and Erica Palmer and Christine Simone and Debbie Morris and Rena Bickley and Kathy Rockwood. And Nancy Lagan and Marianne Miller at a thousand, uh, Don Jameson at eleven hundred, and Mike Green at twenty one hundred. Way to go! Now, team sellers. These are team teams. Teams are director teams. Okay, Nikki Micah. Congratulations, Sarah Weaver, Manel Franklin, Jessica Gordon, Loretta Desenzo, Tybert, Ellen Lewis, and we have Amy Gardner at twenty eight. Uh, PC Champs at 43, uh, Pam Green at 46, and number one, uh, Bonnie Alexander at 5,400. And Org Sales, congratulations, Loretta at 35, number four, number three, Amy Gardner at 4,000, Bonnie Alexander at 6,004, and Ellen Lewis, number one at 8,248. Personal Recruiting, Kathy Burney, Pam Callahan, Pam Andre, 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 and Jandry. How do you say that? Alejandre. Alejandre. You're right. I remember that now. Pamela, it's very easy for me to say. <laughs> Don Jameson, number four. Number three, Manel Franklin. And number two, Renee um, Rena <laughs> Bickley. And number Rena, Rena, Rena. Okay, Bickley. Number uh, two. And number one, Loretta Desenzo Tiber. Personal sales breaks the tie. All right. Unit recruiting. Congratulations, Pam Callahan and Rena Bickley and Don Jameson. And oh, that was number one. Don, congratulations with two. Way to go. Team recruiting. Uh uh, Pat Fraley and Pam Clift and Nikki Micah and Manel Franklin and Loretta Desenzo Tiber. Number one with two, Amy Gardner. Congratulations. Yay. Your way to go, dream, uh, dream catchers. All right, org recruiting. Congratulations. We have number four, Loretta Desenzo Tiber. Number three, Bonnie Alexander. Number two, Ellen Lewis. And number one, Amy Gardner. Woo Personal sales breaks a tie. Way to go. And now I have for you. Let me just tell you, Jim and I would like to say thank you for all the love and prayers and the lifting up of us when we were. Um, going through the loss of our son. And so we want to say thank you in a big way. So we decided to put together a little program and give you some bonus gifts for your business. Now, these gifts are going to be things that will help you grow your business. So if you submit just $100 this week, your award will be the window cling that you can put in the back of your car. You can put it in your front door window. Um, but is catalogs on board? Ask me for one. And that way you can have brochures or catalogs, whatever you prefer I prefer to give away flyers, one page flyers, whatever, but people want them. And so if you put the sign out there, you're going to get asked for it. All right. The other thing we have is if you submit $300, you're going to get the cutest lap boards I found. And I love them. They're logoed lap boards, but let me tell you why they're so cute. <laughs> they are so cute because they are um, four by six. That is the size of the large um, index cards. That is the perfect size for you to have on your vendor table. So that's a perfect size for you to throw in your purse and be able to pull out and let somebody fill out a, 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 a sticky note or a slip or anything like that so that you can have their information and be able to send them, um, you know, put them in your VIP group or send them your information or mail them a catalog. It is the perfect size. It is four by six. I love it. I'm so excited about these. They are clear with our logo on them. And then we have, are you excited about this? $500 you submit this week and we will gift you um, a really cool, see what's new Tupperware 
um, QR code that goes to your personal website. Not mine, because if you do this one right now, it goes to my website. <laughs> no, no, no. It'll go to your personal website. And how fun is that? Everybody has a free website. All you have to do is market it. Now, this sticker is four by four, which is perfect for you to put in the back of your car right next to your catalogs on board. And so if somebody wants a catalog, but they want it now and you're not at the car, they could use your QR code and go right to your website and be able to see what's new right now. Are you guys excited? We want to grow your business, okay? And so last but not least, now this is super cool for the super cool people, because if you submit $1,000 this week, we're going to give you a super cool new sign holder that actually has got your Venmo or your PayPal or both, if you want to have both on there. It's your QR code for you to have people scan it right there and pay you right at any vendor booth, or maybe you're working, um, you know, uh, maybe it's not even a vendor booth. Maybe you're actually uh, just at a Tupperware party and you want somebody wants to pay you right there for something you're doing cash and carry. Perfect way to do it is have your display right there. You don't have to take the time to pull out your phone, pull it up and message it to them. All you have to do is have it right there for them on your display table. How awesome is that? It also will have space right here at the bottom for them to be able to find you on your website um, by literally typing it in if they wanted to, or also Facebook and Instagram. Are you excited? These are personal gifts to you, uh, personalized for you by us to say thank you for all the love and prayers and um, the kindness that you've showed to us over the last couple of weeks. Now, these are extra special because we're going to have small co-pays on them, but they are all going to ship for only $5. And so when you earn all four, $5, all right? And so it cost us, of course, the same amount to put them all in one envelope or one thing at a time. So we are going to send them all at once to you for $5. And we want to say thank you uh, in a very big way uh, for all the love and prayers. And so gifts for you this week on our loyalty week. And I'll be honest with you, we need some help. <laughs> we need to catch up. All right. And so catching up this week is really important to all of us. It's important um, for you, for your goals. Uh, right now, you have a beautiful set that you can get when you submit $500 in the last week and this week. And so if it's all 500 this week, you're going to go all the way up to level three. And if you go to $1,000 this week, you're going all the way up to level four on our awards tonight, on our loyalty week, uh, and thanking you. We also have to, I have to share that um, we're looking for 70% activity in the company, and we're also looking for more, uh, more champions to join the team, of course, um, and activity. So if you were working in May, uh, May and you haven't submitted an order yet in June, please do that, all right? We have number activity that we have to go for, and we're short about 100 people. And so we need your help getting that too. And so if you have anybody on your team that hasn't submitted yet in June, please ask them to go ahead and hit that $100 and so they can get their catalog on board sticker, all right? And so it's time to, to us to give away some things. And so we have our parties up drawing. And look at this, Loretta has the most parties up right now in the next, um, I believe this goes out six weeks. Is it six weeks or four weeks? Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to make her feel like I needed her. <laughs> I do. All right. And so parties up. Um, so this goes all the way through um July, actually, because this is our last week in June. And guys, it's also the last um the last week of the quarter. And so we have a lot of goals to make this week. So this is not the week to take off, all right? This is the week to help us out with our loyalty week. And let me uh, thank you by giving you uh, these wonderful awards as well to grow your business, all right? Um, and so what we look at is Loretta with 12. Congratulations, Debbie Morris with seven. Bonnie Alexander with seven. Christine Moreau has six this week. And uh, we also have John Neal with five. And we have uh, Rena Bickley with five. Jessica Gordon has four. Nancy Lagan has three. Pam Green has three. Margaret Schwartz has two. Tammy McClung has two. And Stephanie, congratulations, Stephanie um, Price. And she has two as well. All right. And so let's give away. Now, there's a lot more people that have parties up. These are just the top 10. 
104 people that have parties up or 104, 104 parties? parties 104 parties. Okay. And let me just tell you in the future, um, Tupperware has not had a closing date to parties, but Tupperware is instilling a closing date for parties. And it's going to be a 45 day window, just like it used to be. Um, and so that's coming back to us with a new system. Um, and they are upgrading the system and that's one of the upgrades. And so do know that in the future, not now, not yet, <laughs> but you're going to find out that there'll be a time that'll show up in your my week and they'll say 45 day parties close in 45 days. So you want to start working on closing out your old parties, or if you don't care, don't worry, Tupperware will close them for you, which for me, I don't mind that because I have a lot of parties that I've had open from here and there. And, um, just never submitted orders in that particular party or whatever, because I opened it up myself because I was looking for something. And so I'm like, thank you, Tupperware. Close that, please. All right. So <laughs> uh, if you're trying to train, you'll know what I mean. All right. So if I'm trying to train somebody, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, let me check it out. And I'll pop open a party. And I'm like, yeah, I got to close that. And I never go to it. And so it'll be nice to have Tupperware help me out there. All right. And so guys, so that's just in the future. Just know that um, probably, uh, probably you, you'll hear about it in July and August more, uh, and eventually it'll be a 45 day window. Okay. All right. So who is going to win? All right. Push that button. I have Bonnie Alexander. Whoop, whoop. All right. Congratulations, Bonnie. Bonnie's on vacation. All right. She is actually out on the boat, having a good time all week. Yay. I saw pictures on Facebook. All right. And so next, what are we giving away? Next, we are giving away, oh, we need to do our day seven drawing for the $100 a day. Oh, okay. Day seven. You have those names? I do. Have All right. Name. So this is something where top of, uh, where the directors decide they're going to give away my stuff. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> and that's okay. They know they have the right. They have the right. That's fine. All right. So let's give it away and roll that number. Okay. So, so far this, this week, um, we've had Sarah Yoder. Can you hear her? Sarah Yoder was a winner. Okay, Nancy Lagan. Nancy Lagan, yay. Cynthia Habiger. Cynthia Habiger. Mike that, Green. Mike Green. Who's rocking it. Yay. Uh, Patty Drone. Yay, Patty Drone. Tiffany Napier. Tiffany Napier. And last. Karen Rebicki. Whoop, whoop. All right, Carrie, congratulations. All right. And... <laughs> That is awesome. All right. And so next we are giving away what? Uh, oh, the last regular gift for hashtag Share to Shine June. Because okay. next week we'll do the logo stuff. Okay. So, and I just want to say, Joni Schlott, your stuff went up today from May because I got lost in the shuffle as far as sending things out. So it, it, it left today. I promise. All right, Joni, you got stuff coming this week. Get excited. <laughs> Okay, so this week is Peggy Merritt. Congratulations. You're the lucky winner this week on the Pam swag for the um and this is simply guys, if you're if you're new here or you don't know about it, literally just sharing on the team page. You share something on the team page where it's going to build people, build the uh, build the team, um, help people uh, grow their business, then we're going to put your name in a drawing to have a chance to win Pam Swag every week. But the last week of the month, we put the whole month in. And um, so this week is a really good week to do it. And the whole month goes in a drawing and you win logo wear and you get a private shopper. So if you don't want logo wear, don't need it, you could get anything from a tablecloth to a bag to something else that's logoed. So it's logo for the win. All right. Where are we at? We are at Ahas from last week's team night. Okay. Ahas. All right. And this is Don Jameson. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, Don. She is on tonight. Yay, John. And we have uh, two guests. Okay. So it's your stuff. All right. We want to uh, do a number so, one and two. No, let's. What are our guests' two? names? What are our, our guest guests' names? names? Are Terry Rowan with Kathy Sewell, Sewell and Chrissy Hanley with Debbie Cockrell. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Christy. So glad to have you with us this evening. And we are anxious to help you grow your business. And it really is a company of friends helping friends. So we're going to send both of you a free gift tonight just for being on with us uh, for your first time. And we hope to see you lots more. You never get to be first again. Okay. Oh, by the way, you're never a guest again either. 
you're one of us now. And so let us help you. Um, I know that you are with Kathy and who else? Uh, oh, great, Debbie. All right. So let us help you reach out to them. If you need them, um, reach out to me. We are an open book. We There's no worry about uh, rank here. We don't have rank. We have friends, helping friends, okay? And so if you need us, let us know so we can help you out and get your business rolling fast, all right? We want to help you make money now. All right. Uh, okay, guys, thank you so much for being with us this evening. We want to do our attendance and so let's find our screen with all our people faces on it. Oh, we got it. Oh, put your shades on. There's extra drawing for shades. Yay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know who you are now. I can't read your names. <laughs> all right. So we have how many people on? Pam, your sunglasses look like a filter. <laughs> they do. It's really funny. They look. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> They have a gold tip on the ends here. Isn't that so pretty? Mm -hmm. So nice. You got to touch them when you see me. Okay. I will wear them when I see you. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? I want to see everybody. Oh, you have to go up to the top right hand corner. Everybody can do this right now. Go to your top right hand corner where it says view. And oh, yeah, you do. Everybody does. No, I have you pinned. Oh, I'm pinning you. Go up where you can have speaker view or gallery view. And I'm on gallery view. And that gives me everybody. Okay. Can everybody else do that? Yes. All right. Okay. That way you can see everybody. And <laughs> it really does give you a chance to see all the sunglasses and see, oh, I like her sunglasses. Ooh, check hers out. Nice. <laughs> Teresa looks like she's in men in black. Yeah, she is. <laughs> men in black for sure. All right. So we have... Um, ooh, 27 on. And so we're going to give a wild number between one and 27 in just a second. And if you have sunglasses on, you're a double winner. All right. And so here we go. Hey, Siri. Oh, hey, Siri. That's Alexa. This is Siri. I get my assistants mixed up. They are not nice when that happens. Hey, Siri. That's Jenny and that's Jim. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be our, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Siri. Can you please give me a random number between 1 and 27? Do you want to send? No, I don't want to send it. Stop. Cancel. Okay. Canceled. <laughs> that, was a, that was a message to Jenny Cheatham. <laughs> okay. Hey, Siri. <laughs> yes. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you give me a random number between 1 and 27? It's 8. Eight. All right. One, two, three, four, four across tonight. Carrie Rowan, aren't you a guest? Guess what? You just won double. Yay. Congratulations, Carrie. All right. Now we're going to go for the ones with the shades. So you have to have your shades on to win. Put your shades on. Second drawing. And this has to have a shade on. And we have a lot of people that aren't even on the screen. 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 Too bad. So sad. You know, put your face up if you want in the drawing. Okay. Hey, Siri, give me a random number between 1 and 19. A random number between 1 and 19 is 7. 7. And that is Christine Simone. Yay, Christine, you're the lucky winner. And you've got your shades on. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, guys, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I hope you got Thank great you. ideas. And I want to tell you, go find a super crisp it. Uh, a picture of a super crisp, but don't use the one with the price tag. Do not do that. You want to use one that really shows that insert, pop it up on your page. I did it and they had two people. One person actually posted underneath that picture. Another one sent me a private message and said, yes, I need that. Can you get me one? And so pop it out there. You'll be surprised. All right, guys. All right. Thanks guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.